LeBron James is laughing all the way to the top of the box office, even after his film was slammed by critics, including some calling his performance wooden. So Space Jam A New Legacy made $31 million in its opening weekend, which is more than it was expected. So LeBron shared the numbers on Twitter, adding, hi haters and retweeted Space Jam director Malcolm D. Lee's tweet that said, Many thanks to fans. We made this for you and reward us with your presence. Thanks for coming back to the movies. Yeah, so what did you think of Space Jam New Legacy? So I think we all can admit that LeBron is not the greatest actor in the world. Like even early on in the movie, he has a great line where he says, Listen guys, I'm a ball player. You know, an athlete's acting, that never goes well. So yeah, LeBron doesn't give the greatest performance, but I actually found that it was entertaining watching him not give the greatest performance, if that makes sense. Like, we're not expecting LeBron to be a freaking, I don't know, Leonardo DiCaprio or Tom Hanks. Like, I mean, it's LeBron James in this movie. So it's fun to see him trying to make it work, especially in this hybrid world of animation and live action that he often have, has to interact with, yeah, just cartoon characters that aren't uh, really there. So it's fun to watch. And I mean, I, I was thinking, I just watched The Tomorrow War like last week and Chris Pratt gave one of the worst performances I've ever seen. So LeBron was at least better than that and LeBron is not a professional actor like Chris Pratt is. I gotta give props to Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle is awesome in this movie. He has like a really interesting character to pull off because he's basically, yeah, a computer generated, I don't know, I can't remember what the word they give him, but an algorithm, that's what he is. And so he like just has to do all this crazy dialogue but he makes it worth and his costumes are absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, I mean, Space Jam New Legacy, you're not looking for an Oscar-worthy movie. It's just a fun movie to be entertained by. And it's cool to see all these cameos. Of course, it's in the Warner Brothers world. So in the crowd scenes, it's really cool to to find some of the cameos we're seeing. Like there's It or, or Pennywise. There's the Joker. Uh, there's Game of Thrones people. There's the Wizard of Oz. Like there's a lot going on. I found it interesting that they gave such a showcase to The Matrix. Um, because obviously the Matrix, the Matrix is coming back, uh, uh, later this year with a new movie and they give it such a showcase in this movie when we haven't seen that franchise in 20 years. But yeah, obviously they're trying to get the hype going about, uh, the Matrix, Matrix again. The one thing I found really strange that there's a cameo from Wonder Woman and it's actually not Gal Gadot doing the voice. It's Rosario Dawson. Today will be the most challenging day of your life, Lola Bunny. You have earned the right to become one of us. I found that really strange because this is Warner Brothers. Do you think that Warner Brothers would have the power to get um, Gal Gadot to do it? But I guess not. So Rosario Dawson got the voice um, Wonder Woman. Now, I thought the best part for me was the cameo by Michael Jordan. Of course, Michael Jordan, the basketball star, starred in the first Space Jam. And then, yeah, there's a reference to him in this one, and it's pretty brilliant the cameo that happens number 23 michael jordan i was just getting some popcorn and then this cat grabbed me so yeah is space jam a new new legacy the greatest movie ever no was i entertained by it? yes our bar is a little bit lower these days just to see new material so i enjoyed it um, LeBron is a super charismatic guy. Once again, he's not the greatest actor in the world, but I was totally entertained by Space Jam and New Legacy. I wanna hear what you guys have to say about it.